We do have some breaking news down there in Michigan, in Pontiac, Oakland County. We do have a verdict reached in the James Crumbly trial. Uh, the jury has now ended their deliberations. Crumbly just entered the courtroom. Let's watch. All right, court is now in session. The Honorable Shirley Matthews presiding. Thank you, Mark. Keys on behalf of people. Karen McDonald on behalf of people. Good evening, Mario Levin on behalf of James Crumbly. Uh, Mr. Crumbly, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Thank you. All right, you can be seated. Um, I want to indicate, um, first of all, there was a question the media was dying to know about. Um, I'm going to read that into the record. I consulted with the attorneys who answered the question, and so then I sent the question back in. They agreed on the answer. The jury asked, please define Article 16.13, bullet number four, define willfully neglected and grossly negligent. Uh, the lawyers agreed to uh, answer the question, please see jury instruction 16.18 for the definition of gross negligence. All other definitions are contained within jury instruction 16.13. Uh, I also want to point out that there's a request by the media to ask the jury members if they would be willing to remain in the courthouse and be questioned off camera. Um, because there would be a verdict and no other defendant pending trial, I would have been willing to do that. Uh, but the courthouse closes at 4.30, and I have continually imposed on the courthouse um, for the sake of this trial and the other one. I cannot impose on the staff for the deputies any, any further I also want to, want to indicate that with regard to case number 22279990 FH, the People versus Jennifer Crumley, there is uh, an order restricting pretrial publicity. It was entered on July 14th, 2022. Uh, that order will be set aside um, as soon as the verdict is read. I will also be issuing an order that will obviously not uh, be uh, made public in the courthouse until uh, tomorrow morning. Um, in addition, case number 22279989 FH of the People versus James, uh, James Crumley, the same thing. The order restricting uh, pretrial publicity was entered um, on July 14, 2022, and that order will also be set aside um, as of the reading and the verdict. Are you uh, ready for the jury? Yes, Ron. Yes, Ron. Good evening. Good evening. 
ladies and gentlemen, I know you've worked very hard, but we've all been awaiting your decision. I know this was a very intense decision for you all to make. Uh, I believe you've selected a four-person. Who's the four-person? You're the four-person. Could you read the verdict, please? Each count? Sure. Count one, involuntary manslaughter as to Madison Baldwin. Guilty of involuntary manslaughter as to Madison Baldwin. Count two, involuntary manslaughter as to Tate Mir. Guilty of involuntary manslaughter as to Tate Mir. Count three, involuntary manslaughter as to Hanna St. Juliana. Guilty of involuntary manslaughter as to Hanna St. Juliana. Count four, involuntary manslaughter as to Justin Schilling. Guilty of involuntary manslaughter as to Justin Schilling. Thank you, fourth person. Uh, I'm going to ask that Ms. Williams to pull the jury. So she's going to ask you each. Jury in seat number one, was that and is that your verdict? Yes. Jury in seat number two, was that and is that your verdict? Yes. Jury in seat number three, was that and is that your verdict? Yes. Jury in seat number four, was that and is that your verdict? Yes. Jury in seat number six, was that and is that your verdict? It is. Jury in seat number seven, was that and is that your verdict? It is. Jury in seat number eight, was that and is that your verdict? It is. Jury in seat number nine, was that and is that your verdict? It is. Jury in seat number 11, was that and is that your verdict? It is. Jury in seat number 12, was that and is that your verdict? Yes, it is. Jury in seat number 13, was that and is that your verdict? It is. Jury in seat number 14, was that and is that your verdict? It is. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I know how hard this has been on all of you just by reading your face. Uh, I, I know this has been a very hard decision, um, and we appreciate your time. I'm going to ask you to return to the jury room, and I'll be there, uh, there with you in a few minutes, all right? All rise for the jury. This is Andrew Kraft here with Live Now from Fox, and you have been watching there what has unfolded live in a courtroom in Pontiac, Michigan, in Oakland County. Uh, it's about 7.20 there on this Thursday night. The jury deliberated for more than a day and a half, uh, and they found unanimously James Crumbly, the father of Ethan Crumbly. Ethan Crumbly committed that horrible mass shooting at Oxford High School in Michigan in November of 2021. Well, the jury there has now found his father, James, guilty on all counts of involuntary manslaughter. You see him there getting remanded into custody. Let's keep listening. And James Crumbly exits the courtroom there. Uh, and I've covered a lot of trials like this. Sometimes we don't get cameras in the courtroom, but when we do, you always look to see the facial reaction of the defendant once the verdict is read. Uh, and I would venture to say James Crumbly remains stoic. Uh, there really was no reaction uh, as well. Uh, remember, mere months ago, this same exact result was carried out as well for his wife, Jennifer Crumbly, who was also found guilty of four counts of involuntary manslaughter there. And you can see the Oakland County prosecutor embracing victims' family members. Let's watch. <laughs> uh, 
All right, uh, and we've been relying on our Fox 2 Detroit colleagues, including Charlie Langton, who's been covering this trial each and every day. Now, what was different about this trial uh, was that James Crumbly did not take the stand. You remember that previously in his wife's trial, Jennifer's, Jennifer took the stand in her defense and she was cross-examined over her role. Now, what is so significant and historic about this, uh, and unfortunately here at Live Now we have covered several mass shootings to say the least, several mass school shootings. And why this is so significant is this is the first time I believe in American history, and my producers can correct me if I'm wrong, that the parents of a mass school shooter have been held criminally responsible now for their child's actions when their child carried out such a massacre in an American school. 